All right, so we're back, and um, I don't think I did that. Maybe no, I did. Okay, so they're gonna trip send me an email about that when that comes back up. Um, in the meantime, what we need to do is Libra. So read to me, woman. Read to me. And still, my task has not ended. Still, a bit of curtain blocks the light. Something must complete the message. Something which will give us entry into the abyss. Mm. Truth and falsehood battle in my head until I hear their message. It is the number of our patron Sky Traveler and that of a famous seal. Seal of the Solomon. The soul of the matter is evident to me now. At the intersection of the many, I lay down one rigid arm and the others scatter around the crown like jewels. At last, the queen is adorned for her coronation. Hmm. So we get to put on our hexagram. So we have to do some searchy searches. We do. No, we don't need the temple soul anymore. So. Libra is definitely talking about a hexagram. Ding, ding. The battle of truth and falsehood ba, 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 is the cathode black ba, ba, and white hexagram. Ba, 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 ba. Plus, it represents the soul. Ba, 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 ba. And it's the seal of Solomon. Ba, 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 ba. So, yes. You don't really need to read that out. Done. Alright, so. Let's open up our map and new shape. We're gonna bring out this hexagram. We need to uh, resize a little bit because it's a little small, but uh, now it's a little big. <laughs> it's a little small. Oh no, now it's too big. All right, a little smaller. Yeah, about that I would say. Now when they say they want to lay down an arm, I'm putting it to the meridian. I lay down ding, ding. one rigid arm and the rest scatter around the crown like jewels. Ding. Yes, that's it. I'll write down the coordinates for the northeast and southwest arms. Those two lie within the temple walls. That they do. And time for time shift. Ding ding. And because I actually already did this, I'm just gonna say, uh, actually, mm, we won't. I was about to say we're gonna save, but I'm actually. Meh, 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 meh. No, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna restore because what? Um, this actually had more points than my last one because I forgot to do something when I um needed to redo it. So let's do it here. Yay. Hello, Grace. Typing away, I see. Oh, good morning, Gabriel. Yeah, she, she's been working for hours. For three whole hours with action. You've been... Oh. Oh, um... Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh I, I, I think something might have happened last night. <laughs> oh. So, you're... Oh. Yes. Yeah. Kind of inevitable. <laughs> oh. There's some oddness going on now. Hey, he's dressed now. So, did you have breakfast? Uh, no, no but I think I'll go down. I mean, what well, you shower and all that. I'll, I'll just get out of your hair. Hello? So. Oh, God, mostly. Hello? Did, uh, did somebody die? Uh. Hey, Mose. Yeah, hi. <laughs> What's oh, up? Gabriel, is your arm broken? Is anyone else hear Twilight Zone music, or, or, or is it just me? It's just you. What's this? Oh, yeah, uh, I was going to ask you about that. Where'd you find it? Our friend Larry Chester buried it last night. Or should I say, Larry Sinclair. <gasps> Sinclair? He's Scottish. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's about the Stuart bloodline. Did you read it then? I just skimmed it. I've been working on the treasure map. Oh. Well, would you mind reading it? I've got to figure out why Sinclair lied and why he felt compelled to play Jolly Roger last night. Mm. Say, I'll read it, you know, if you're busy with the map. No, no. Don't I trust you. Do it. Why the hell are you so interested in anyway? Just trying to be helpful. Oh Jeez. yeah. Fine. I'll just go. Good gosh. Wait. 
Um, Grace, I'll grab a shower later, so, uh, you know, the room's all yours. God! Get a grip, Matt! I will get a grip. I'll get your grip. Ha ha ha! Christ, you retard! This better not be about what I think it's about. Yeah, it is. Shit. <sighs> I'm going to my room. Come by later if you want to talk about it. Oh, hey, Jean. Hey. Oh, wh why did? Why is Jean hanging around? Oh. Um. Should save just in case. Hey, guys. What's happening? Oh, I tell you, Jean, I feel it. Something is wrong. Perhaps Monsieur Winks spends the night with another guest. <gasps> no, I have already cleaned Mademoiselle Butan's room, and where else could he have been? <coughs> the American girl stays with her boss. As for the Lady Howard and Estelle... <laughs> Enough, Roxanne. Lock the door and touch nothing. <gasps> we shall see if Monsieur Winks returns. Oh, uh, oui, Jean. Oh no! Oh no! Actually, I'm gonna save and see what happens if I go in. Oh. That's not gonna help. Oh no! Hmm. Oh, let's go speak to Roxanne. Hey, Rox- Hey, we get to go into a room we haven't been in before. Hey, Roxanne! Hello. Excuse me, Roxanne. Wow, this is a Monsieur really uninventive closet. Do you need something? Really? Say, Roxanne. <laughs> My pants are a little dirty. Oh! Would you be able to clean them for me? Oh, oh, oui, certainly. Just uh, leave them with me. Well, gee, I was kind of hoping you'd do it while I wait. Oh! oh but, 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 monsieur, you would not be wearing any pants. Call me Gabriel. Ah! Oh. Oh, monsieur Knight, you joke with me, no? Yeah, I'm a kidder. Oh, Gabriel. What's up this morning? I saw you talking to Jean. Oh, monsieur, I am very afraid for Mr. Wilkes. This morning, his window, it is wide open, and things in his room, they are not right. <gasps> Usually, I find his nightclothes on the floor, yes? But this morning, there is no sign of them, and his razor and toothbrush, they have not been used. It is as if he never got up this morning. Yet, oh, no. he is not there. Gee, that oh, sounds no. bad. Why don't you let me take a look? Uh, I, I don't know. Roxanne, this could be serious. Mr. Wilkes would want us to make sure he's not in any trouble. I agree. That is why I go to Jean. But he thinks I have the big, uh, imagination. Oh. Personally, I've learned never to underestimate a woman. No, oh. Monsieur. All right, I will show you. Follow me. Yay! Please, Monsieur Knight. If Monsieur Wilkes returns, do not tell him I let you in. Yes. I won't. Thanks. All right. Hello, lady. Hmm. Well, yes, that window is definitely open. It's wide open, all right. Creepy. It reminds me of my dream. Ah. I don't see any signs of forced entry on the window. What about inside the closet? Maybe he suicided after Grace Judo chopped him. That's as ugly as the one in our room. Ah, great. Such great um Hey, look, the lid is gone. If someone did break in here, they apparently had no interest in the hotel stationery. 
Oh, what's that? I thought he had more papers and stuff lying around. He did. Not right now, thanks. Aw. Alright, fine. Check his bag. That's his clothes, but where's his equipment? Nothing in there but dirty laundry. Okay. Wow, this is this is this is thrilling. Um Wilkes's stuff is still here. That that's good. Alright, well that's all we really need to see in there. There's nothing really to find because as you can see, they've done a whoever got him, uh, kidnapped him. Did a rather good cleaning job of it. Hey, Mose! Hey, Moses supposes that Moses is Rose's, but Moses supposes Get in that here. I'm listening. I don't remember how the end of that goes. Um, come on, let's talk about Grace. It's time. Well, I really did it this time. Yeah, you knew it. Screwed the pooch. You did, didn't you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. He rust. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. How about some support here? So what like happened? Like a bra? Here? When she left here last night, she didn't want anything to do with you. Well. It was an accident. Oh, right? no, it wasn't. You're the only guy I know who could accidentally end up in bed with the most beautiful woman for 50 miles. What about Madeline? What about Madeline? Shades. You know, you got kind of a reverse rose-colored glasses thing going on. Must be your fear of commitment affecting your optical nerves. Mm. Grace is beautiful. She's nice. She's smart. She's funny. You ought to have your head examined. And besides which, I ought to break your neck for hurting her feelings. Did you get a look at her face this morning? No, knock it off. I feel bad enough. I just don't know how to act. I mean, God, she's like my sister or something. No. Oh. Well, I suppose you could try to talk to her about your feelings, get it all out in the open. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you what. Just pretend it never happened. Oh. oh. Really? No. Like nothing happened. No. Right. Okay. Oh man. <sighs> you know, help Mosley. You're a shit bag in a way. Well, they're both shit bags, but you know what I mean. I think. <laughs> hey, Jean. Let's talk about Wilkes, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all those good times and bad times and yeah <laughs> this is just stupid at least have the camera following them have you seen Wilkes yet John no monsieur have you no. no oh I'm sure he'll be popping it up anytime now popping it up popping it up I bet he'll be popping it up in his pants um <laughs> popping it up Let's see if anyone's having breakfast at 10. No. Alright. I'm just trying to think if there's anything. Oh. Oh, I, I was just thinking that, like, you know, we should probably end the episode. But I just thought that, you know, hey, let's try and speak to the abbe, see what he's doing because, you know, abbe loves us. I mean, he pretends he doesn't, but he totally does. Come on. And the game crashed! <laughs> so I will I will end the episode here and ugh, I am so sorry about all the crashes. It doesn't happen except for when I record because obviously it's using up too much power between the two of them. So, yeah, so we'll see you guys next time and um, for more Gabriel Knight 3 and, and yeah, and stuff.